In this lesson, we will solve kinematics problem using calculus. For our first problem, a particle is at rest at the origin at time t equals 0 and has an acceleration function of a equals 5 minus 10 t meter per second squared. Find a. What is the velocity function? b. What is the position function? And c. When is the velocity 0? From the given, a particle is at rest at the time t equals 0. It means that at time t equals 0, the initial velocity of the particle is equal to 0 since the particle is at rest initially. And the initial position of the particle xi is equal to 0 since the particle is at the origin initially. To solve for the velocity function, take note that the acceleration a can be solved by the derivative of the velocity b with respect to the time t. Solving for this uh, equation, it gives us a db is equal to the product of a and dt. And take note from the given that the acceleration function is equal to 5 minus 10 t meter per second squared. Substitute this a on the equation and it becomes db is equal to our a is 5 minus 10 t then dt. To solve for the velocity function b now, take the integral of this equation both side. And for the integral of the right side of the equation, take note that we will apply the algebraic sum rule for the integration wherein the right side of the equation can be uh, rewritten as the integral of the 5 dt minus the integral of the 10 t dt. And for the integral of the dv, take note, this is just equal to b plus uh, c. But if we will uh, combine any uh, constant to a constant, this will always give us another constant c. That is why the constant of the integration, we will just uh, put it on the right side of the equation. And the integral of db is just equal to b. And for the integral of the 5 dt, take note, we can factor out a constant in the integration and that give us a 5, the integral of the dt minus 10, the integral of the t dt. Let's review basic rules of integration. Take note, for the integral of dx, this is always equal to x plus the constant c of the integration. And for the integral of x raised to n dx, applying power formula wherein this n is any constant except negative 1, this is equal to x raised to the exponent plus 1 over the exponent plus 1 plus the constant of the integration. Simplifying the equation, this will now be b is equal to 5. For the integral of dt, this will give us t. And again, the constant combined with another constant is just a constant c. And uh, by that, we will just simply put the constant uh, c on the last part of the equation. And this will now be minus for the 10, just simply copy. And for the integral of t dt, applying power formula, our exponent here is understood to be 1. And that will be t raised to 1 plus 1, which is 2, over that exponent of 2, then plus c. Try to uh, simplify the equation further. And this is 5t. 10 over 2 is 5. And this is 5t squared plus c. But take note, we are not done yet since we do not know what is the value of this constant of integration. Wherein, we can solve for this uh, constant c by using the given on the problem that at a time t equals 0, the velocity is equal to 0. And let's try to substitute that at time t equals 0, 
the velocity b is equal to the initial velocity and that is equal to 0. Let's now try to uh, substitute and your velocity is equal to 0 and this is equal to 5 multiplied by the time t of 0 minus 5 multiplied by 0 squared plus uh, c. Therefore, the value of c now will be equal to 0. Therefore, the velocity function b now will be equal to 5t minus the 5t squared plus the constant which is equal to 0. And take note for the unit since on the given this is uh, acceleration in terms of meter per second squared and the velocity must be expressed as meter per second. And this will be the velocity function b in terms of the time t. Wherein, if you want now to solve for the velocity at a certain time, all you need to do is to substitute the given time t on this equation or on this function of the velocity b. Now, let's uh, answer letter b. What is the position function? For the position function, take note that we can solve for the velocity b as the derivative of the position x with respect to the time t. Solving for this equation, this gives us dx is equal to the product of the velocity b and the dt. And take note that we already uh, express the velocity as a function of the time t, which is that velocity is equal to 5t minus 5t squared. And we can now substitute it on this b, and this will now be 5t minus 5t squared dt. And to solve for the position function x, take the integral of this equation both sides, wherein for the integral of the right side of the equation, we can express it in terms of the integral of the 5t dt minus the integral of the 5t squared dt, wherein this is the same as the integral of the dx is equal to factor of the constant, that is 5, the integral of the t dt minus that 5, the integral of the t squared dt. And again, we will just put the constant of the integration on the right side of the equation, which is on the last part. And for the integral of the dx, that is just equal to uh, x, then... For the integral of the 5t t dt, this is now a 5, the constant. Then for the integral of t dt applying power formula, that is t raised to a 1 plus 1, which is 2, over that exponent of 2 minus, copy the constant 5. And for the integral of t squared dt, applying power formula, and that gives us t raised to 3, which is 2 plus 1 over that exponent of 3, and the constant of the integration c. Then, again, we need to solve for the value of this constant c, wherein, from the given, we know that at a time t equals 0, the initial position is equal to 0. And by that, at a time t equals 0, the initial position or the position is equal to 0. Let's try to uh, substitute. Our x is equal to 0. And for the time t of 0, that is 5 times 0 squared over 2 minus 5 multiplied by 0 cubed over 3 plus uh, c. And solving for the constant of the integration c now, this is equal to 0. Therefore, for the position function x now, this is equal to 5 t squared over 2 minus 5 t cubed over 3 plus uh, c. And that c is just equal to 0. And take note, for the unit of this uh, position function x, this is in terms of meters. And this will be our final answer for the position function. For our letter C problem, the question is, when is the velocity zero? Take note, we know that the velocity 
is equal to 5t minus 5t squared meter per second. And if the velocity is equal to 0, all we need to do is to equate this equation we're in. The equation of the velocity will be equal to 0 and that is 5t minus 5t squared is equal to 0. We're in. This is a quadratic equation by nature and we can solve it by applying simple factoring. Since we have here a common of 5t, on the 5t minus 5t squared, let's try to factor this uh, 5t as common, which is 5t multiplied by 1 minus t is equal to 0. Wherein we have a uh, two possible cases here. That is when 5t is equal to 0 and when 1 minus t is also equal to 0. Solving for the t on the 5t equals 0, this will give us a value of a t is equal to 0 over 5 and that gives us a 0 and that is 0 second. And for the second equation of 1 minus t, just simply transpose this uh, negative t on the right side of the equation and that will give us t is equal to 1 uh, second. Therefore, the time when the velocity becomes equal to 0 is at 0 second and a time of 1 second. Now, let's try to uh, solve another example problem for this topic. For our second example problem, consider a particle moving along the x-axis where x in centimeter is the position of the particle at time t in second and the function x is equal to t raised at cube minus 60 squared plus 90 minus 2. Find the velocity of the particle when the acceleration, take note, when the acceleration is zero. We want to solve for the velocity on this problem and take note that the velocity is equal to the derivative of the position x with respect to the time t. Since on this problem, we have the given position x and that position x is in terms of the time t, all we need to do now is to take the derivative of this given function of x with respect to t. And that is the derivative of the t cube minus 60 squared plus 90 minus 2 with respect to t. And for the derivative of this uh, function, take note that for the derivative of t cubed with respect to a t, this is equal to a 3t squared. And for the derivative of the negative 6t squared, that will be a, that negative 6, just uh, factor out that constant. And for the derivative of the t squared, that is 2t. And for the derivative of 90, factor out that 9. And the derivative of t with respect to t is 1. And for the derivative of that negative 2 or the derivative of a constant is always equal to 0. Therefore, the velocity b now is equal to 3t squared minus 12t plus 9. And this is in terms of centimeter per second. But we cannot solve for the velocity because we do not know what is the time when the acceleration is equal to zero. Therefore, we need to solve for the acceleration and equate it to zero to uh, solve for the time t. We know that the acceleration a is can be solved by the derivative of the velocity b with respect to the time t. That means, just take the derivative of the velocity function with respect to t, and this is the derivative of the 3t squared minus 12t plus 9 with respect to t. And the acceleration function now will be for the derivative of 3t squared minus 12t plus 9, that is 3, the constant. Derivative of the t squared, that is 2t. For the derivative of negative 12t, that is minus 12. The derivative of t with respect to t is 1. 
and for the derivative of 9 with respect to t, that is uh, 0. The derivative of a constant. And the acceleration a now will be equal to a 6t minus uh, 12. And we know that the acceleration is 0. And that is now a 6t minus 12 wherein the acceleration is equal to 0 and solving for the time t here, that is 6t is equal to uh, 12, divide both side by uh, 6 to solve for the time t, and the time t now will be equal to a to a uh, second. That means we want to solve for the velocity when the time is equal to 2 seconds, and that is now the velocity v is equal to a 3 multiplied by the 2 squared minus 12 multiplied by 2 plus 9 centimeter per second. Let's try now to uh, simplify this equation further and that is a 3 times uh, 2 squared minus 12 times 2 plus 9 and this is equal to uh, 12 minus 24 plus uh, 9. And uh, therefore, the velocity is now equal to negative uh, 3 centimeter per second. And this will be our final answer for the velocity when the acceleration is equal to 0.